Uh, hello, this is Dr. Günar from Acıbadem University in Istanbul. I'm going to make a small summary of what is an FTG PET, uh, what is a PET CT scanner and what's an FTG PET. Uh, okay, PET, PET CT started to be used from 1990s and it, it, really, it really made a big progress in oncology treatment. Um, what we call is the Warburg effect. The tumor cells take up more glucose and it makes us differentiate the tumor cells, tumor t tumoral tissues from normal tissues. Um, this, is, this causes the stage migration of oncology patients. Uh, in a certain percentage of patients, the patients are downstaged. Uh, in a certain percentage, the patients are upstaged. Uh, when, when, uh, the patients may be a candidate for a surgery uh, after PET CT scan, or the patients may be a candidate for radiotherapy and chemotherapy or their combinations after PET CT scans. Uh, approximately one third of patients in general uh, have this kind of a treatment change. Uh, this reflects in the better survival of the patients. Uh, so, what, we, what do we use the PET CT scans, especially with FTG for? We use it for early staging of the patients, initial staging of the patients, treatment response evaluation of the patients, uh, and uh, usually the radiotherapy planning of the patients, and also uh, in suspected recurrences of the patients. Uh, just to summarize, after, FPETS, well, after FTG PET, what is coming? I'm, uh, I need to tell you three names. The sodium fluoride PET for bone metastasis, PSMA PET for prostate cancer, detection and treatment, octreotide PET for neuroendocrine tumors, detection and treatment. This is the f future of uh, nuclear medicine and FTG PET, PET CT scans.